Hello and welcome back to Stainblock 2. My name is Darren's Probs and this is episode 7. And yes, welcome to the DRP, a little underground base. It's kind of somewhat finished, so-so. Um, I kind of just need to record, really, because uh, I'm gonna get, I'm kind of getting a bit carried away. I'm not gonna lie. Um, I'll just quickly run over each section here. So we got the uh, witchy cauldron room, okay? The witch cow is in there. You can just see her there with her little nose poking out. <laughs> but I thought it would suit in there because obviously we're going to need witch water to obviously keep making uh, mobs come alive with the totems. We've got my farming area here, which chickens and stuff seem to be spawning naturally. I put my drippers in here and I've also got my wooden barrel over there. I've got a, a bit of a, a free lava system going on here with a couple of drip stains and cauldrons and stuff. I've made two more botany pots and I'm currently growing a load of oak um, just because I was using it to build and we got loads of furnaces here by the way to build this kind of relay power room okay so I've set it up so I got a hammer by manually so like if I want to do a load of hammering I'll just chuck it at it basically and at the back here we've actually got four more um, glowstone panels now um, so previously we only had the one I believe and I got these two empty rooms right now and uh, today, I want to try and get a couple of cloches in there, maybe? I don't know if I'm maybe jumping the gun a bit or not. I don't really know. I'm going to try to get a couple of cloches. Let's, let's, we're going to try. And then in here, I've still got all my six cobblestone generators, as I already had previously. And yes, I'm doing quite well with cobblestone right now. And then, obviously, I've got my relay power emitter here. I've put trap doors here because this will prevent it from actually taking damage you know if you go near it because if i don't have this ouch yeah it hurts but yeah we're rocking like twenty-three thousand relay power now which is quite a lot um this thing does use quite a lot of um power though but for example if i just chuck um 32 pieces of this at it, it will chunk away at my power but then that saves me using my hammer to obviously get a load of gravel but yeah I'll come back and grab that in a second as we continue talking. we got a storage room over here as well. So I'm debating whether this is good or not. Um, I've got a lot of spare chests here. But yeah, I've basically renamed each one of these to what they are. So this is full of essences. This will be runes and totems. You get it, basically. It's not really too hard to explain. I'm trying to keep as organized as I can. As I mentioned on the last episode, this is quite a resource impact kind of map. I've got my sieve in here with a diamond mesh still, the heavy sieve. And I got my bed over here as well. I don't honestly know what I didn't really know what else to put over there, so I just put a bed. Do you really need to sleep in a stain block world? And then obviously over here, um, we've got my nether portal, and this will be where I will be opening chance cubes. And probably in the future, I will have chickens down here, maybe. I'm not entirely sure yet. Plus, the relay power over there might need to be extended. I'm not really too sure. But anyway, what we need to do is get into a bit of magic today, I think. If I want to get into the cloche. Now, the sole reason I want the cloche is to get iron, right? I want to get loads of iron automatically because I'm sick of <laughs> sieving up gravel. Come on, we, we can do it now. We've got a load of relay power, right? So I need to craft up a four elemental seeds. Um, okay, so what is the actual recipe for that again? It's a load of runes. I know that. It's quite expensive. So if I look at seeds here, there they are. Okay, so we need air, water, and earth, and fire. Okay. So believe it or not, that hammer just used like 14,000 of my relay power. But yes, I got 32 pieces of compressed gravel. So I could sieve that up now and get a load of iron and stuff like that. But totally, I'm not going to right now. I'm just going to leave it in there. There we go. I don't know why I said totally. But yeah, we need to get some more of these. So we need two of them, two of them, and two of them. And I just need earth now. And I think I've actually got enough. Look. Cool. So all we need to do is get some clay. I've tried, again, tried to make this as organized as I can. I need to get some seeds as well. Uh, cool. We've got, we need two of them. Because I think we get two every time. Two of them. Two of them and two of them. Perfect. So, fingers crossed now, we should be able to craft these and it should ping off the quest. Ah, no, I'm missing something. Is it bone meal? Yeah. Okay. That's not too bad. We've got this dust chest here. I can just grab two pieces of bone meal like so. And there we go. Boom. 
Easy. <laughs> Finally, we get into a bit more magic. Nice. Oh, we get a chance cube. We'll be opening that today. Oh, do I go for a hard one? I think I'm getting because this is funny, right? Okay, here we go. Well done. Now you're going to need a unique machine to grow the magical plants in. Exactly what I want. The cloche. The relay power cloche. The relay power cloche can grow magical plants inside it, provided it has a relay power and a rooted dirt base. Visit library to find out more about the relay power cloche. Well, I don't need to. It's okay. Uh, so we need to craft four rooted dirt, and then we need to place down a relay power cloche. And we get some conveyor belts for this. Yes. Okay, cool. Okay, so how do we make this again? I know it requires amethyst. Uh, there we go. Okay, so we need amethyst shard, a couple of pieces of glass. Okay, overall, that's not that expensive, to be fair. So the relay power cloche requires um, rooted dirt. And a good way of getting roots quite easily is just by using your crook on some dirt, look. And obviously, we're going to get some. Now, I think I need four, it said, right? And I think I've got a spare crook in here. There we go. We are going to end up with quite a lot of junk out of this as well. Come on, give me some roots. Well, hey, the last one. Perfect. Nice. So now I should be able to craft up some rooted dirt. Perfect. There we go. That's that part done. So we also need a couple of chests. Um, we've got two here. Um, I think I needed some planks as well. Um, we want some of these. And a coil, I think. Maybe I need a, a couple of coils, actually. Now, coil is actually copper and the diorite alloy, right? Uh, let's grab some diorite. Oh my god, this is so much easier now. I've got everything in one place. <laughs> it kind of was anyway, but not 100%. Uh, okay, so let's have a quick look at the coil again. Okay, I am missing one um, a copper ingot. That's not too hard to get. But we'll grab a couple more just in case. There we go. Nice. I probably only need to make one of them. That's not too bad. Right, let's have a quick look at the cloche again. So all we're missing is the glass. Okay. This is easier than I thought. Um, I'm wondering if I've actually got any spare glass. I'm thinking I might because I was using it to build um, the actual relay powered room out of. I think there might be some in here. Yes, there is. Look. Okay. Nice. So let's make this sucker. There we go. Boom. So now if I look at seeds a minute. How do I make iron seeds? Aha! Actually, that is quite doable, to be fair. Uh, so if I look at scraps, I've got a load of these iron scraps here. Now, if I just turn this into four of these, and I've obviously got the magic seeds on me, I should be able to make, there they are, iron seeds. Nice. Okay. So now I can use my crook, because obviously it's got silk touch on it. I could put one of these in here, maybe. Whoa! It's a garden in a jar! Perfect. So now I need to put the rooted dirt in here. There we go. I heard it. There it is. It's in there. Look, you can see. And now the iron seeds. And now this actually has a built-in storage, which is amazing. So yeah, I don't really need to uh, hook it up with anything as such. Um, but I will probably put a hopper... I don't know. I need to. I don't really know what to do with that yet. I'm, I'm, I'm debating whether to maybe pull it back one more, maybe, and then I can get hopper or a chest just sat in this corner, maybe, because chests still work with glass, don't they? But for now, we'll leave it like that. And there we go. We can see the little eye. Actually, no. We'll, we'll leave it like that for a minute. We can see the little uh, iron plant growing in there. Look, <laughs> awesome. So that should produce me iron dust eventually. Um, but it does cost 600 power each time it's grown. Um, which is quite a lot, really, when you think about it. So you've got to make sure you've got a bit of a good supply of relay power if you have a few of these on the go. Um, but yeah, no, that's cool. Right, so we should get some... Oh, there we go. I heard it. And there we go. We got some iron dust. Perfect. So now we should get some hoppers. Yes, and a relay powered conveyor belt. Nice. Amazing. Good work. Time to craft some magical seeds and plant them inside the relay power cloche. A great starter magical seed is the dye seed. So I've kind of jumped the gun a little bit here because I really wanted iron. But the quest is telling me to make a dye seed, basically. And we get some more seeds. We get a free relay power cloche and we get a chance cube. 
Oh god. Should we do it? <laughs> Let's have a look. Die. Oh wow. Okay. So we need literally almost one of every color die to uh to actually make the seed. Aha. Now green die, I'm not sure if we've got cactus. I'm not too sure. Probably we have. Um, but I'm pretty certain we can just sieve up like red sand, if I'm not mistaken. Any cactus in here, Dan? Nope, that's cows. Definitely no cactus. Okay. Uh, let's take some red sand a minute and compress this and sieve it and see what we actually get from it. Oops. I don't know why I'm doing that. It comes up, Dan. <laughs> there we go. So I've just realized as well, I've actually got the relay power conveyor belts on me. As you can see, they cost one relay power per every 0 0.1 second. Now, I do want to mention here, the more items that are on it, the more expensive it will get. Because that is actually the um, a power usage per item. Okay. So let me just do a bit of an example here. Oh my god. I forgot how cool these things look. Squidgy did a fantastic job on these. Jeez, man. Okay, right. So, you can see 13,000, blah, blah, blah. If I check these... Well, maybe we should make it, like, go in some sort of uh, ring. We're going to have to break this. Not really the greatest example here, Dan. But let's kind of... There we go. That should kind of go in a circle now, hopefully. There we go. I kind of saw it moving there. So, let's check my compressed red sand that I need to use in a minute. And you can see this is burning away quite fast now again if i chuck more items on here all these little worms yeah you see how fast that's going now <laughs> so yeah you gotta have a serious amount of power to run a load of conveyor belts as long as you know if it's just one item going around it's not too bad it looks fast and it looks like it's lo you're losing a lot but technically you're not really but yeah, uh, that's kind of cool that I got them for free. I could obviously hook up a cobblestone generator now with these belts and automatically hammer down and get a load of gravel, basically, without doing anything. Because <laughs> this is all passive, right? I don't actually have to do anything. And just quickly, how is this doing? Nine pieces! Okay, what do we do with them? Okay, okay, what, what do we do? Oh, it gives you scrap, that's right, okay. Ooh, okay, so it's still quite still quite a grind. But I imagine if we have like four of them there, four of them there, we are gonna get a lot of iron for doing nothing. <laughs> but I gotta make sure I've got enough power, so I might need to upgrade my power at some point. So I was just checking my inventory and I've just realized I got a soul panel on me as well. So the quests actually give me a soul panel. I totally misread that. Um so what I'm probably gonna do is rip out one of these for now because technically this is way better because it actually produces 24 rather than eight so it's technically four times better than the glow one so it's like i've just put in another four of them technically if you think about it like that so yeah that's going to help increase my power a lot quicker now nice now i actually haven't got the uh the the soul of a cow yet because it's actually a cow um, do I just stick this in this corner here for a minute? Maybe? Could may as well just add it to it, right? The more the merrier, right? So I've started collecting some dyes. Look, we've actually got brown dye. Um, I actually got cocoa beans from sieving up three pieces of compressed um, of red sand. And yeah, I just turned that into dye. Lapis has obviously given us um, the blue dye. We get beetroot from obviously we cook. Well, we didn't cook it. We uh, grew some beetroot for the quest, right? So there's a couple of pieces left in there. Um, I'm just storing it all in here for now. Right, so I need to get some bone meal now and try to get myself at least a a dandelion, right? To try and get a yellow dye. Um, okay, ooh, that's a good one though because that's like light grey. I think we might need that. We've got some more blue there, okay. Sorry, Piggy, can you move out of the way? Well, hey, there we go, perfect. So I'm actually going to be smart here and bone meal that there we go nice that means i got loads of them now and you know what i'm gonna leave those couple of flowers in there for a minute just as a bit of a decoration for those guys <laughs> cool so we got a couple of flowers now if i ever need to uh actually 
grow any more flowers um because they're pretty easy to to farm right if we need to at any point cool so that's the yellow done and obviously i can use the yellow and the red here um let me grab some more bone meal and just get my another red flower and basically i'm gonna make the orange die uh quickly by using these two there we go nice I will grab that one as well, just so I could put it in my chest. So that we got it. Do that, do that. And there we go. We got the orange dye. Um, I'm going to have to look at what other colors we need because I might have messed up already. <laughs> Is it orange we actually need? I'm not 100% sure. And do we need light gray? Oh, God. Uh, dye seeds. Okay, so we do need orange. We don't need gray. Ah, we need cyan. And purple. So um, blue and uh, red will make purple. So that's not a problem. And then we need blue and green, I think it is. So basically, we're, we're kind of locked behind this green right now. So we need to find a way out how to get green dye. Um, okay. Let me have a bit of a think and try to remember what, what items drop what here. Uh, so we're on a hunt for some cactus now. And I'm pretty certain it is sand, if I'm not mistaken. I genuinely thought it was red sand, though, but I don't think it is. Oh, hey, there we go. I saw some. Oh, it might be quite rare, though. Okay, there's a couple pieces in there. Okay. I don't honestly think I've sieved that much sand, then, because I don't really have any kelp or any ink sacks. So, luckily, well, I could have actually got maybe black dye from that. We've got some sponges? Wait, what? Okay, so it's all like ocean stuff. I see. Ooh, turtle eggs. They're quite good for making a mob farms, they are. Um, okay, so let's go and kick up some cactus. Make some green dye. Um, you can go in there. Boom. And what we'll do is take you out of there. And can we put you in there? No. We have to use sand, right? There we go. That should pick up all that. Perfect. Right. Let's smash up one of these. Start growing a cactus just because, you know, if I ever need green dye again, maybe... I can have it on tap, if you know what I mean. Cool. So there we go. So we've got a little cactus growing. And now that should be done. Nice. Cool. So now all I need to do is make all this to life, right? Make it come to life, basically. So there we go. We got green dye and cyan dye now. And we should be able to craft this dye seed now. So as you can see, I've actually got the dye seeds on me now. And I was wondering, like, what? The quest never actually uh, pinged off. It's because I didn't actually need to craft it. Well, I do. But we're actually after different colored dyes. Um, but you could do this quest kind of without actually using the uh, the cloche. But what we wanted you to do was actually to grow. I can't really get in there. There we go. Grow the dye seeds in your newly crafted. Wow, look at that plant. In your newly crafted uh, cloche. So yeah, I'm going to kind of let this do its thing now. And we're going to come back with a load of dyes, hopefully. And then once I grab them all, we should be able to uh, check mark off this actual quest cool so that's pretty cool and then we'll get another relay power cloche for free but what i'm going to do is craft up a couple more relay power cloches if i can um to fill that whole side um so yeah i'll be back once i've crafted them up there it is my four relay power cloches boom and this has already got some magenta dye in it nice so now i can actually plant those iron seeds back in there now, I want to mention as well, you can actually get seeds from these as well. It's not only the dust. There's a very, very, very slim chance that you'll get some seeds as well from whatever crop you're actually growing. It's super, super rare. But look, we're getting purple dye as well now. Nice. So I need to put these rooted dirt in here. We need to get some more seeds in there. But I feel like I'm just going to go for iron seeds, right? Um, we will, from the quest, if I remember correctly, get a couple seeds back. Yeah, two elemental ones as well. So we could actually go up to six uh, relay power cloches, which will be 3,600 relay power per go. Whenever they generate all this stuff. Yeah, I'm not sure I probably got enough for that, really. Um, but yeah, we need to get some scraps here so we can craft up um, some iron, right? So we need eight of these. That's fine. And then we obviously need the seeds wherever I put them. There we go. Nice. So there we go. We should be able to craft up them. Nice. Oh, iron on tap, guys. Dan's going to be iron rich. This is awesome. But iron's super, super valuable. As you already probably know. There we go. 
Nice. And there we go. We got some lime dye. We need that for the quest. Perfect. And that... Yes! <laughs> but that's not so good. But we actually got some. No way! That's so weird because I was just talking about that. It's so rare as well. I'm very lucky to get some iron seeds. That's awesome. Very, very good. I can use that for the free cloche I'll get in a minute, probably, from doing the quest, right? So I'm just doing a bit of a slight modification. I've just broken one of the cloches in my handlet. I've just made a load of hoppers just so I can actually somewhat make this a bit more practical <laughs> um, for me. Uh, yeah, so all I need to do now is put this hopper here. There we go. And now, if I put all my walls back, we should be able to there we go. Nice. Oh, this actually connects now. That's quite nice. So I can put this back here. Um, we can actually put this on here. And oh my god, we got stuff in here. Nice. <laughs> it's working. There we go. So that should go in there. Perfect. That's going to start growing. Nice, nice, nice. Cool. So that's pretty much fully automated now. I see two more pieces of glass there, and then that's set up. So there we go. We've got a barrel here with some stuff in it. Nice. Ah, oh, that's much easier. Right, so I need cyan. I need lime. Uh, I think I need black as well, right? Uh, cyan and lime, yes. We need green dye. I could just go and grab that and the brown dye. Okay. So we'll go to the cactus, grab all this. Cook all this in here, but we'll take one of them out. So we're actually missing uh, one cyan dye, <laughs> which is in here. There we go. <laughs> Colored crops. Done. Elemental seeds. Two times. Relay power cloche. One times. And another chance cube. We're going hard again. <laughs> oh, okay. How about something a bit more on the colder side of things? Ice seeds will produce ice dust, which can be used to make ice. Craft four packed ice. And we get some iron seeds. <laughs> I don't need any more iron seeds, Dan. I've got loads. Okay, okay, okay. Let's have a bit of a clean up. And yeah, what we're going to do is probably open these chance cubes, I reckon. But the best bit about this is we got a free cloche and some more elemental seeds. But what I'm actually going to use is one of those iron seeds. And we're going to grow some more iron, I think. Cool. Right, let's put all these dyes that I totally don't really need um in there put some crops in here flowers can go with the flowers maybe so i'm just breaking down some gravel here just to get some dirt so i can get some rooted dirt with my crook um hopefully oh there we go first one no way that's pretty good right so now i need to break that by my hand and we should be able to make some rooted dirt there we go and now i can put this in the cloche here and there we go iron seeds now, I'm getting a bit nervous here about my power situation. Um, have I made it a bit overkill? Maybe. <laughs> oh dear, we got even more seeds in there. Okay, so maybe they're not that rare? I thought they were way rarer than that. I swear I made them really rare. Maybe they're not. Maybe it's just because I got so many, right? There is like three cloches with iron there, but now there's four. Um, ideally, I should probably put the die one across over there, maybe. But I don't think I could sustain this power. I'm, I'm, I'm using more than I'm actually uh, producing, I think. I think we need to have a look at something called an engine. Oh, wow. That's a lot of diorite. Um, but it's probably quite possible, to be fair. But we don't have a honey cow. We don't have a soul lava cow. Or we don't have an oil cow. So, yeah, again, we might be jumping the gun a little bit, but we are going to be in a bit of a pickle now because we can't sustain all of this power. So maybe, maybe I'm going to get rid of the die one for now. You go away and I'll get rid of you for now and let my power kind of charge back up a bit if it can. Ah, uh, we are so low. Okay. Okay. Let's get rid of you guys as well. Maybe that's going to sustain it. That's, they're not going to pop off because they... I'm not going to have enough power. Ah! Okay, we'll, we'll put all this back in here for now. we got some dye seeds as well, obviously, because I just broke it. Um, okay, we'll come back to you. <laughs> just run! Oh, my God, i got to break all this too, right? Okay. Oh, God. Dan's getting really scared now. It's, do you know why? It's because i got the chance cubes on me. 
and I don't want to. I don't want to mess this world up. I'm really, I'm loving this, so I don't want to mess this up. Please don't spawn in a wither, please. So you know what time it is now. It's hard chance cube time. <laughs> I hope these aren't anticlimactic ones. Um, I'm really nervous about this, guys, because these are hard. And as you can read there, it can be destructive. So we got prepared. We, we, I got, I'm, I'm prepared. Okay, let's be smart about this. Okay. Do I make a backup of the world? <laughs> I'm not. I'm not gonna do a backup, guys. Oh my god, I'm crazy. Here we go. Yo. Okay, that's actually sick. An enchantment table. Okay, not too bad. Oh, please, second one be as good as that, but it's not going to be, is it? Oh, God, I should be making a backup of the world. No way! Okay, that's pretty rubbish, but at the same time, it's safety, right? <laughs> okay, a, a block of raw copper. Okay, okay. They were a little bit anticlimactic, as I thought they would be. Um, but yeah, can we break that with that? I'm not sure. Okay, we can. Nice. I guess that's quite a bit of free copper for me. Wow. I've been hell of a lucky with these uh, chance cubes, to be fair. Um, I have got three more to open, but do I do them now? Shall we? As we're in a chance cube mood. Let's do it. I'm feeling lucky, but it's all going to come down on me now, isn't it? Oh, no. We'll, we'll go easy, normal, hard, right? Okay, okay, okay. Right, we'll put this in here. This is the raw section now. Because we got a bit of it. I'm so happy I've got that, but I don't have enough leather. But obviously, we can get loads of cows. Um, so not too much of an issue. I'll put that in there. Technically, that's a block, so I'll put it in there. And then my dust can go back in there. Right, let's go and open all three of these then. And see what happens. Now, probably the easy ones are going to kill me. Because it's always like that, right? <laughs> oh, God. Here we go. Oh, here we go. Here we go. You are kidding me. Another diorite chicken. Okay, okay. How has that happened? Out of all the possible things I could have got, I got another diorite chicken. Like I got in like episode four or five. Okay. Uh, where's my chicken wand? It's in here, isn't it? There we go. Let's go and give this guy a smack and then we can pick him up. Then he can be useful later on. But yes, that's really good to have a diorite chicken, another one. Because that means I can get double the amount faster. There we go. He's on me. Perfect. Oh, God. These ones require wall protection, though. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's be really smart, actually, and do that and that. Maybe eat first, because I'm getting a bit hungry. Here we go. Oh, no. I want to break it with pickaxe. Okay, not too bad. We got haste. That's fine. And now let's go for the big one, Mr. Hard. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm so happy I put a wall there. Release the horde. Jeez, man. If I didn't put that there, I would have been screwed. Okay, we got a lot of zombies to kill. A lot of zombies. So I'm really happy I actually put a wall there. Oh, look, I got an Nautilus shell. Nice. Um, because if I didn't, that would have been a different story, right? <laughs> so always be prepared. That's this is that's the lesson I've learned from today. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all I've got time for, I'm afraid, guys. Bit of a shorter episode. I haven't got much time today, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, thank you very much for watching. I'm Dan Ross Provs. And uh, yeah, off camera, I'm going to be doing a bit more grinding as per usual. Um, but I feel like we should probably start thinking about going down the cow route for next episode. Just because I need to kind of get an engine up and running to, to sustain my, you know, my relay power usage. Because I'm using more than I'm actually producing. Um, and engines are way, way more powerful. And uh, all my mobs are spawned away. Despawned. <laughs> it's fine. They're only vanilla uh, animals, so it wasn't too bad. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Take care, and I'll see you in the next one, guys. Bye! God, I got away with those chance cubes, right? How did that happen? I think I need to go and buy a lottery ticket. <laughs>